Hello, we're back. Uh, since this is a multi-part uh, ongoing uh, configuration, you can see we're going to test it for at least 87 days. Uh, I just wanted to walk through real quick some of the configuration options uh, in, in the main menu. Again, uh, our, our filer is up and running and working very, very well. Uh, and so this is the home screen. You can see that we haven't yet performed a snapshot. Uh, that we've got uh, just a little bit of data on there. If you recall from the last video, we copied a one meg file. And as you can see right here, uh, we've got a uh, dirty uh, one meg, which means that we haven't yet replicated that to the cloud. Um, uh, we've got a little bit, uh, just some initial setup files copied over and things like that. So we don't have anything of, of significance yet moved over to cloud, and that's why it says zero. The way NAS SUNY works is it takes a snapshot and then uh, replicates that data up to the cloud. The local uh, storage on your system is referred to as a cache and essentially acts in that manner. So that uh, works out very, very well. So the just to kind of take a quick tour, first thing we want to do is take a look at the configuration and look at quality of service. Uh, when replication does happen, we don't want it to absolutely just uh, eliminate any potential bandwidth that we might have. Uh, so we have the capability here to set start and stop times uh, of when uh, we want it to, to go and not go. So right now it's set to start uh, full throttle uh, or to really throttle down replication at midnight uh, and then start back up at, at 11 o'clock. So that's basically all day uh, and, and we want to open that window up a little bit. So we will um, uh, tell it to uh, be in a constrained mode, so we'll lower it down to uh, 100 kilobits a second, and we'll want to do that for, for our working hours, which are roughly about 9 to 6. So now, uh, at between the hours of 9 and 6 each day, um, the system will uh, only replicate at 100 kilobits an hour, otherwise it will go full speed. Uh, and then we can also select what days we want it to uh, do that as well. For now, uh, we're fine with everything. So we'll hit save on that, and we're ready to go. The, the next step is we uh, want to set up our snapshots, how often they happen, uh, when we want them to start, and what the frequency is. So right now, we have it set to uh, go off every hour. Uh, and that's I, I think that's fine for most cases, but just for the purposes of this, we'll have it set to go. Uh, every two hours. We'll save that configuration. And then the uh, last area just to set up real quickly uh, is the shares window. So what we want to do is create a uh, new share and uh, put some uh, password uh, restrictions on that. Uh, so uh, right now you can see that the security is set as public uh, and we don't really want to do that, so we will set it. You can all you can set it by Active Directory uh, or by usernames. Uh, so we'll go ahead and set it by usernames and save that. So here we can go into users. Uh, you can upload a users list. Uh, you can do uh, things like that, uh, or we we'll just again for the purpose of this demo, we'll just go ahead and manually uh, add user and click save that. So now we have to be authenticated uh, to be able to log into that uh, directory, uh, so that gives us a, a little bit of security as well. Um, and then, like I said, you could set it up as uh, off of Active Directory or, or you can upload a list as well. Uh, so that's the, that's the real basic configuration. Uh, we'll go ahead and um, wait for our, let's uh, we'll see now our snapshots are uh, already done. Um, see here that that was the snapshot of that one file uh, and that our cloud usage is starting to trend upwards uh, we're at uh, one megabyte so 
our, our snapshot is now complete. Uh, the status is 100% healthy and we're ready to go. So everything uh, is working good at this end, uh, very s simple and straightforward. Uh, we like to, when we're testing products, use it into in production. So our, our next step is to begin to copy production data uh, onto the uh, filer and uh, we'll see how that goes. Thanks very much for tuning in and my name is George Crump and we'll bring you more updates as we continue with the test.